My name is Elena Cabral, and I am a graduate of the college, Columbia College, class of 1993, and I am a graduate of the journalism school, class of 1999. Now I work at the journalism school, I'm an adjunct professor, and I run the part-time program, um, and I work in career services, so I um, sort of do the full life cycle of the students in terms of uh, guiding them when they uh, get in here, helping to select them, and then helping them to get a job when they are ready to graduate. You know, I always like to tell my students that the training that I got in the journalism school helped me not only to be a better journalist, but to be a better person, really, because I was forced to get out of my shell. You know, there's something about having to ask people on the street questions that uh, tends to make you very fearless. And I had to confront all of my own biases to become more empathetic. I became a better listener. I certainly became a better writer. Um, and I asked the right questions, you know. Um, and that helped me in all aspects of my life, you know, so um, I try to convey that to my students um, because I think that the experience, especially at this point in their lives, is one that is going to, you know, go in a million directions, you know. It doesn't have to begin and end in a newsroom, you know. They often uh, go on to do a lot of other things. Um, and uh, life is long, so you know uh, we like for them to be ambitious and to think about you know what's possible after this degree. Uh, the the moment when I came out of my shell, the moment when things really clicked for me at the journalism school, I can pinpoint it exactly um, on the steps of the courthouse, the Queen's courthouse. Um, when I uh, was chatting with Professor Friedman about one of my papers, one of my stories, and I had this habit, a really, really lifelong habit, of never really being able to take a compliment. People would say to me, oh, that was a great piece of writing. It was usually the writing that was strongest in my academic career, and I had this habit of saying, no, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's nothing. And, um, and um, I, I did that pretty much my whole life without really much reaction. And when I tried to do that uh, in response to Sam praising uh, one of the stories that I did um, in Jackson Heights, I uh, remember vividly him stopping and asking me to move away from the crowd of students who were gathered there. And he said to me, why do you do that? you know, why do you shake your head when I say you did a great job? Don't do that. You know, you're a fine writer and you're really going to um, go places. And that was the moment that it really sunk in, that I am I am really good and I can do this job. And um, it really changed everything. It was a big game changer for me. You know, Columbia as a whole has been like an intellectual home for me. When I was an undergraduate here, I got here when I was 17 years old, basically, and, you know, had never been outside of, you know, my home state of Texas, and um, it was really scary, and I really did not expect for Columbia to have such a big role in my life. Um, but every step of the way, from college to to graduating from journalism school, to being an employee here, um, and raising my family in New York, and raising my family in the Columbia community, I realized that Columbia has really always had my back. It's always been supportive. It's always accepted me for who I am. It's always seen value in me as a person, what I bring to the table, my language, my culture, my background, my point of view. And, you know, I, I felt tremendously grateful for that. Uh, I was just downstairs talking to high school students about it and, you know, letting them know that the middle school, high school experiences are things they leave behind, but college and graduate school are just kind of things where, you know, um, you create a, an intellectual family for yourself, a community for yourself that lasts the rest of your life.